Okay, so my job in the next two minutes is to make sure that you don't start this meeting thinking you can just sit around and listen. Uh, the success of this meeting is dependent on your participation. Uh, we're here uh, to uh, look at an industry and if you, if you were offered a career in an industry that had uh, exponential growth uh, assured and all you had to do was uh, keep costs constant and, uh, and keep uh, shrinking the uh, footprint uh, and only scaling bandwidth density, uh, would you take it? Uh, it'd be better than almost any other alternative that we have. Uh, so we're all here to see what we have to do in order to participate in that exponential scaling. So a roadmap uh, is put together by people like us. Uh, it gives our best consensus of what we think uh, we should be doing along the supply chain. Uh, government is looking at it as a guide for investment and uh, in certain cases where they have to do regulation, they want to make sure they don't impede innovation uh, with that regulation. So the roadmap is guidance for that. Industry needs to coordinate a supply chain. Supply chains are global now, so it isn't a vertically integrated organization like AT&T used to be when, when I was a youngster. Uh, and Bob as well. Uh, so uh, we have to look at the world differently and, and try to coordinate timelines not only across uh, uh, time itself but also across space as well. And then there's a learning curve that we're all building together and, uh, and that goes from suppliers and from competitors. So all of the conversations that we have among ourselves, uh, we're learning from one another and it's creating uh, little bits and pieces of that learning curve. So the, the concept that somebody has an idea and then everything happens from that idea really is not the way it happens. It happens the way we're spending our time this week. Uh, and for those of us in academics doing research, uh, we're looking for good problems to solve. And, uh, and we get an idea of what those problems are here. And uh, our students can go out and start small companies or join large companies and do innovation. So uh, we're here to put together and create technology goals uh, to understand what sort of infrastructure targets uh, we need to create in order to have an ecosystem for manufacturing and we're at the site of one of the greatest contributions to that ecosystem uh, at uh, SUNY Albany. Uh, and then we need to understand the details of exactly what the technology is evolving and, and where it has to go. So number one is cost, and number two is energy, and number three is scaling bandwidth density. And if we can deliver all of those, then exponential growth is ours.